Welcome to A Taste of Azeroth. I'm Lindsay and this is Cam. We are mates and we both love to cook and eat. But Azeroth is a harsh world, but it has some amazing lore and some exciting cooking ideas. So join us as we travel across Azeroth and discuss the lore and myths of WoW and try to recreate the recipes we find. So Cam, before we leave Stonefield Farm, I want you to meet someone. This is Aunt Bernice, who apparently makes the best pork belly pies in all of Azeroth. Oh, hi, Aunt Bernice. Now, Auntie, what makes your pies so good? Do you source all the ingredients locally? Do you believe pigs are as smart as humans? Well, Cam, it doesn't look like she's going to give us the recipe. It looks like we're going to have to make our own pie. Now, a quick shout out to Binging with Babish, who helped inspire me to start this TV show. I've learned a lot from watching him cook. So, for now, for the pork belly pie, we need to cut off the skin. We do this by using a sharp knife, bringing it along the edge of the fat line, and just slowly pulling and cutting as we go. Now you want to cut the meat into large chunks. These will shrink a bit in, as they cook. And you want to find a nice large sized airtight container that you can put them in to mix the sauce and let them marinate. Now we're going to do a char sway style pork belly pie. So first thing is a third of a cup of hoisin sauce. Pour that in there. Make sure you don't leave any behind. Next is a third of a cup of soy sauce. Now we have two tablespoons of honey. This is Australian native honey that I got from my mother's hives. Two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. We have two tablespoons of brown sugar. One tablespoon of minced garlic. And one and a half teaspoons of Chinese five spice powder. Now the secret ingredient. If you want to get your chow sway looking like it does in stores, red food colouring is the key to getting that red colour that everyone loves. Now it's time to put the lid on the airtight container and shake well. Cleanliness is next to godliness. Now that our meat is vig vigorously shook up, let it marinate for 24 hours. It's been marinating for 24 hours. You can even see that it's starting to dissolve all the fat. Mm. It's probably all the... Um, what are we doing with the juice? I'm going to put some of it in here and then the rest of it we're going to put in a bit, bit later when we bake it. When we put it in the actual pot. Actually, maybe I should just put it all in here. Yeah, but it might all... No, don't put all of it in because if it all... Um, if it all goes... Um, evaporates away, then you'll be left with nothing. True. You can just keep keep an eye on it. For the pie, first things first is we need to make a a base. So we just want to line our pie dish with some pastry. Make sure we get a nice bit on the sides. Just cut a little bit. 
little strip off just to fill this one little gap I have. Oh, that <laughs> I've got straight through the plastic. And then we just want some greens. So these are spring onions or shallots straight from my garden, fresh and grown. I think we use two of those. Them in the pie. And then we've got, I never can remember if this is bok choy or pak choy. <laughs> One of those. I'm just call it choy. Choy. Mm. I don't cook with this much, but I'm going to assume we just kind of. And some mushrooms. Normally I'd use like some oriental mushrooms like shiitake or what are the other ones called? Any other one, thin ones? Uh, thin ones, I can't remember. Whatever they're called, but I didn't couldn't find any of them at three different markets, so I'm just gonna use normal ones. It's gonna be a pretty big pie. We've got our lovely pork belly. I'm just gonna put all the juices in here. and all the meat. Stir it all up, get it all mixed together. So you want all that juice to penetrate every part of the pie. Get our top on. I've never been taught how to make pies pretty. I only know how to make pies taste good. <laughs> and then we cut some vents. And the last thing. The magic ingredient? Just to baste it to make it golden brown. Is a bit of basically with a bit of raw egg before putting in the oven. And it'll make it go that nice golden brown colour.
So then I stick it back in. until it's gone brown. Oh man. Look at all the and it's gone everywhere. I don't know if it's going to be better than Auntie Bernice's because she wouldn't share, but give it a go, Ken. There's another fork. Right. You tell me what you think. This one? Which one was yours? I had the one on the plate. Not sure if it works as a pie, mm. but it's still good. I think we would I need to make the marinade a bit thicker and mm. use some corn flour. Corn flour or something, yeah. But the taste is definitely there. It's really, really good. Definitely eat a lot of that. There you have it. We're going to finish this pie. Peace. <laughs>